The U.S. Navy confirms that two pilots on board a military plane that crashed in the Cherokee National Forest did not survive. The instructor trainer duo was on board a T 45C, like the goshawk you saw there on the screen. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin has much more from people near that scene in the mountains today. The community near where two Navy pilots crashed their jets here in the Cherokee National Forest is sending prayers to the families affected by the crash. They're hoping for the best after a tough day. There you go. And when you hear like a siren and then a few minutes later another one and a few minutes later another one, then that's out of the ordinary. The community around the Green Cove Motel and store heard the news like they hear most news. I come up here to the store <laughs> and you know they were talking about it. My sister had told me. But what Marcy Motes heard wasn't what she wanted. It's sad. It's, it's heartbreaking. The U.S. Navy confirms two pilots flying a T-45C Goshawk training jet dying in a crash in the Cherokee National Forest. It happened near the fish hatchery on River Road in Teleco Plains, just miles from where Charles Murphy vacations regularly. Uh, it was extremely low. Otherwise, there was uh, nothing seemed wrong with it. Uh, it was making an approach to the turn up here at the river. He says jets fly over all the time. We're unable to hear a boom or anything, and, and until the uh, emergency vehicles started appearing everywhere, did not know that anything had happened. But the response to help encouraged Murphy. It's just what it's about, you know. People taking care of people, but uh, uh, that's a rough day. Monroe County EMA Director David Chambers says more military personnel should be here soon to continue the investigation into the crash. Back to you.